Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about how to send an email uh, through our Spring Boot application. Uh, it's been pretty easy while integrating uh, our SMTP protocol with us with our Spring Boot application. So let's start first how to create the uh, Spring Boot application. First to go with Spring Boot initializer. So initially I will select Java and then our build version is Maven and then come to artifacts let me change to spring mail sender and then i'm going to select java 8 i will add a dependency mail sender java mail sender and then so let's start to generate the our spring boot application so spring mail center has been generated let's go inside of downloads and copy into one of our application one of our subfolder go to pc and d i'm going to copy here so right click on the project and extract them. So whatever the spring initializer point has been generated from the online, we just have extracted into our local folder. And then I'm going to open the IntelliJ. So open your project and we have it is under java program send spring mail center and click on ok so maven build script found uh, we just have to click on load so it will load the whatever the dependency as part of the pom.xml and it will come with maven uh, tab here once we load the maven dependencies so see here uh, we have the java 70 as part of this and this is the dependence being added that is org spring framework boot uh, spring boot starter mail this is the dependency is needed if you want to send a mail over a smtp protocol and then as it it is invoked with 70 java version as part of the form.xml we also need to set the Java version in the ID also has to be 70. Let's go to the project structure. And here, ah, yeah, it is already been 70. We can use the same thing. So, and then we can go for resources, application, and properties. We need to add a couple of properties which Spring specifically identify the SMTP protocol and also corresponding properties. Let's add one by one spring dot mail dot post equal to smtp dot gmail dot com so i am going to use the gmail server here and spring dot mail dot port so i am going to use 587 spring dot mail dot username this i will populate a bit later spring dot mail dot password this is also I will populate a bit later, and then the next property is spring dot mail dot properties dot mail dot smtp dot auth equal to two, and also spring dot mail dot properties dot mail dot smtp dot start tls dot enable equal to true so but to get the this is the the from email address from email id address where we are sending the email from which email that we have to get from the browser so currently i am taking this is the from email address so let's copy this one and keep over here and we need to get the password 
So to get the password, what we have to do, uh, go inside of uh, this uh, uh, profile and click on the manage user Google account. Once you click on, it comes into a different tab. And then in the left now, we have to click on security. So once you click on the security, come down, read down. So here you can see app passwords. Once you click on here, it will ask to log into to it. Just enter the password here. So there is a verification to a mobile. Let me verify it. So select here, uh, select the app and then click on other. So here I'm going to mention here uh, sending email demo. So once we click on here, it will generate a password. You just have to take this password, copy this and paste over here. This is the password. He is going to be uh, act as a credential for this. And then inside of the Java, I'm going to create a service here with the Java class name. Uh, sending email service. I'm just naming as And I'm just making this as at the rate service. And then I need to auto a class that is uh, the default class, predefined default class is Java Mail Center. Java Mail Center. And then I need to annotate with auto -weld. So I'm going to write a, another method public void mail send email. So this has a logic to send an email. So I'm going to take a couple of parameters here, string to email address and also string the uh, subject as part of the email and also string the body of the email. The three parameters I'm going to take. And then we have to create an object that is simple mail message, new simple mail message. So here I'm going to add set uh, the from email address. We already taken the from email address. We can directly copy from here to there. And then, so here from the uh, application or property, see uh, why we are using the username here to authenticate with the SMTP protocol. For that, we have specified the username here. Here we are using the email to send an email from a specific address. That is the uh, significant significance of uh, from address here. And next, simple mail message dot set to also I need to mention that to address going to be. Let me take this is the to email address. Okay, I'm sending this one and also we need to populate the uh, subject along with the body. Subject simple mail message dot set body. This is set text. Yeah. So along with that, if you also want to keep the BCCs. BC, BCC, you can add the couple of uh, email address as part of the BCC and also we can also add the CC. So for uh, our requirement, I'm not going to take CC and BCC. I'm just going to use the from email address and we are going to receive the email. That is the two email address. These two emails I'm using. And finally, I have to send you an email. That is simple mail message. So this 
class i am going to invoke as part of the main uh, spring boot application class so here i am going to auto where this class sending email service and then i have to mark with this auto -wear. So along with that, I also have to uh, write a clause that is uh, the event listener. Uh, let me write event listener application. Whenever the application being ready, then it has to be invoked. So the, that is the uh, logic I'm going to uh, write here. Application ready event dot clause. So let me write the method also public void. I'm going to name it as send email. So sending email service dot send email. So the first one is to email address. So here to email address we are already taking as part of the parameters I will keep here. And the two email address I will take from here. The subject is uh, I am going to subject of email. And body I'm keeping as yes, thanks for sending the email. So that's it. Then now we can start the, our Java application. let's look at the application here and then find our main application same name i am keeping for the name of this configuration and do apply okay let me uh, first let me clean and install for this project So here it is failing with let me open okay so why because we are going to invoke SMTP protocol but uh, while invoking SMTP protocol we need to add the certificate as part of as part of our uh, Java JRE library means if you go to the uh, C drive let me go to the C drive program files Java JDK, JRE, and then leave after that security. So as part of the cassettes, we also need to add our certificate where we are going to uh, whitelist the SMTP protocol to access from Java. So that is one way uh, to, in, uh, to make the uh, SMTP protocol which can be accessed via the any of the uh, antivirus software that we have used. Uh, the another way is we can also disable the anti uh, antivirus software as part of our application. Just right click on it. Uh, Avast Shields Control disabled for 10 minutes. I'm just keeping disabled for 10 minutes. I'm clicking on OK Stop and then run this Java application again. Let's see how it is going to work. That's it, awesome. So now there is no uh, error from the console. We can see the email box, whether the email has been generated or not. See here, uh, we could be able to generate the email. So the subject of the email is subject of the email that we kept as part of the Spring uh, mail, mail Sender application. 
and the body of the email email is thanks for sending the email that has been received here so that's it as part of the uh, uh, sending the email as part of spring boot application